Hello and good morning everyone. I am with Wesley and Xandra this morning and we are going to be making waffles in the box because, you know, it's harder to work and make homemade stuff when you got toddlers around. But we're going to make some waffles in our nice little waffle maker and have some fun. Now in order to flip from pancakes to waffles instead of just water, we need two cups of pancake mix, we need one and a quarter cups water, a quarter cup vegetables, and an egg. The little girl is very ready to get some waffles this morning. Yeah. Don't forget to turn your coffee pot on as you start. Thanks for reminding me, Zandra. It's time to pour in. Oh, I gotta help her. I gotta help her. Are you gonna help me pour in? Yeah. All right, it's time to pour in the waffle mix. And now we'll get the other wet ingredients. Now we are going to dump one and one quarters water inside of the silver bowl. Thank you, Wesley. Now it's time to dump the quarter cup of oil in the bowl. Wesley, can you get that? Yeah. Dump it on in. Good job. <laughs> All right, now we got an egg. You ready, Wesley? Yeah. Oh, that was a great noise. All right, there we go. Now it's time for Wesley's favorite part. We're going to stir it up. And after a few minutes, we get all this stirring finished, and we are going to be ready to put it into our waffle maker. All right, it is time to finally make these pancakes. Mmm, yeah. Oh, that's tasty. Mm, yummy. Delicious. Oops. All right, here we go. We shut it just like this, and we're off. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Can you hold it. All right, now we have a three-year-old in charge of the camera. Wesley, watch it all with the camera. What is that? <gasps> a waffle. Ooh, he sounds delicious. That is waffle number one. Now as we watch a little one eat some of the delicious spoils of the victory, we read out of Psalms, Your kingdom is an everlasting Daddy. one, and your Daddy. dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words and gracious in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand, satisfying the desire of every living thing. That, once again, is Psalm 145, verses 13 through 16. Now, I love that the scripture today begins by talking about how God satisfies the desire of every living thing. In my experience, the thing that I desire more than just about anything is delicious, carby breakfast food. I love pancakes. I love bacon. I love waffles. I love eggs. I love sausage. I love it all. Some days, I think life feels a little bit like breakfast food, like delicious, airy waffles. Everything is perfect. However, other days feel like when you drop a Pop-Tart into the puddle right outside of your car. Many people probably feel like that right now this week. We aren't really sure what to do. We don't know what's going to happen next. And yet, we know that we have a God that loves us. We have a God as, that, as the psalmist said, upholds all who are falling down and raises up all who are bowed down. This is good news because it reminds us that even in the midst of the wilderness, God's hope is that one day life will be fluffy, airy, sweet, and delicious like waffles again. 
this is pretty great news.